hello my wonderful people welcome back to my channel happy friday i hope you guys are doing fantastic i know this video is going to be uploaded a little later than i wanted to but i hope your day was wonderful and you're prepared for the weekend um i'm super excited as always i'm going to be talking about fragrance and that's what makes me smile but before i do it is friday so it's another giveaway and last week's giveaway went so smoothly that I think I'm gonna be doing these type of giveaways <laughs> from now on because I don't have to worry about how postal office is working and all of that stuff. So for today's giveaway, it's gonna be the same. I am gonna be giving away a Sephora gift card and it will be a $150 gift card. So there will be one lucky winner from the comment section, just like last time. The way to enter, I will leave everything in the description box. So check there how to enter this giveaway. Make sure you are following all of the rules, you know, to make it fair for everyone. And I will contact you via the comment section. So do turn on your post notifications so that I am able to contact you and YouTube notifies you or leave your email so that I can email you. Make sure it's me emailing you and not some random person. I will never ask you for um, very personal information. The only thing that I need to know is really your email so I can send you the gift cards. So keep that in mind. Hope you guys are doing fantastic and good luck to everyone. This is my way of always saying thank you because the love and support that you guys show me is amazing and honestly fills my heart. I love this channel. I love the community that we are building. Such positive group of people and um yeah thank you so much and let's go ahead and jump into this so today we're going to be talking about a new launch i do have kind of like a first impressions video on this fragrance but i wanted to do a dedicated video because i've been seeing a ton of people ask me to review this particular scent and we're talking about jeers off Italica and this is from the Casa Morati line which I, I do love like I already have Dama Bianca and another scent and I just love those fragrances I think that this Casa Morati line is a really great approach to niche fragrances where it's not too complicated it's still very easily approachable i got this one from twisted lily as i get pretty much most of my niche fragrances they have beautiful absolutely beautiful um houses on that website so easily accessible and i love that you can get samples from the website so if you're not sure of the full bottle you can go ahead and get a sample you can use my discount code which is karina10 to get 10 percent off so here is the fragrance i know so many of you guys that messaged me on instagram asking me to do a full review so here it is i've had it for a little while played around with it and i'm finally able to talk about it so here is the box the box i mean it's like artwork right like look at this it is really really beautiful over here um i love the color scheme also and this is the 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces oh there there's that bottle there is that bottle i mean the tone of this bottle is just oh, it's gorgeous like it really is gorgeous. I love the color combination. It just looks very uh, lavish. Here is a closer look at the bottle. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. To me, she's a beauty. Look at that. So pretty. A little piece of paper and share with you guys my thoughts real quick. I want to kind of smell uh, the opening so I can really pinpoint oh, that itemizer. That atomizer is gorgeous. By the way, guys, can we just stop and appreciate these curls? Like, I cannot right now. I am looking at my viewfinder and my mirror that's in front of me, and my curls are just popping. I'm sorry. I just, I had to kind of stop and appreciate myself. Is that okay? That's okay. You know, let's normalize loving ourselves and being confident. Um, I just love the way that my hair is, you know, looking today. I love a little bit of frizz, uh, a little bit of volume, and just curls super uneven though i definitely need a trim but i'm loving my curls anyways back to the fragrances so this one i'm gonna spray it again the atomizer is beautiful across the board um sure's off does not play with quality like always 100 percent when it comes to these fragrances <sighs> wow okay 
This is the epitome of a gourmand fragrance. You have to love gourmands. You have to love sweet fragrances. This fragrance is quite intense and intoxicating. Those two words really come to my mind as soon as I spray it. It is not for those who are looking for a soft, gentle fragrance. This is heavy duty, okay? This is very sweet. Smells like an almond croissant. Like, I love almond croissants. I eat them very regularly, which, you know, my, my waistline and my stomach area does not love, but I love it so much. And this, as soon as I sprayed it, I'm like, oh my God, it smells like an almond croissant. That nuttiness in there is stunning. The vanilla is like a creamy, like when you make a custard tart, like a Portuguese custard tart, like this video is all about dessert. My mouth is watering. <laughs> like a Portuguese custard tart, how it's creamy and you pour in a very authentic vanilla in there. This is what it smells like. The almond touch is perfect because it adds that nuttiness in there and I really like it. And just a slight hint of bitterness, just a slight hint of bitterness. The woody tone in the dry down is really nice. It balances things off and kind of grounds this fragrance a little bit more. I will definitely be honest and say this is an overly sweet fragrance. That's why I said proceed this if you love your sweet gourmands because this is a true sweet gourmand fragrance. Like I am not <laughs> joking sweet gourmand. This is what I'm going to think of from that one because... Oh, you will smell like a complete snack with this one. I am so excited to play around with this scent comes fall and winter. I feel like for the holidays, this is just going to be the perfect fragrance. Like I'm pretty surprised that they launched this right now um, during summer because this is, uh, for me, this is a fall and winter scent. It is very creamy it's sweet it's dense it's um oh it is just a dessert in a bottle it is truly a dessert in a bottle you have to love your sweet vanilla fragrances more of a creamy uh, approach to it like definitely you can pick up on that milk and it and it's like you mixed that milk with something like a like a heavy whipping cream with almonds and you pour it in that gorgeous bourbon deep vanilla paste in there like oh it is absolutely absolutely gorgeous i will be honest and say that i don't know if i'm gonna get much wear of this fragrance during the summer like it's really really hot most days now in canada thank the lord and so because this is very sweet, it can become a little too much for me in the summertime. So I have tried it during a cooler day on a date night and it worked beautifully. The other day, my husband and I went to a steakhouse and it was kind of gloomy, kind of windy, and we were on the patio. So this worked out really, really well. But on a super hot day, I didn't like it too much. I thought it was a bit, you know, too strong, too overpowering. And so I definitely see myself wearing a lot more of this on the colder months for sure. Like, come that snow, come that cold, cold winter here in Canada, I know this is going to be pulled out quite often. And I am just wow i'm loving it so in terms of the lasting power and the sillage this is definitely an intoxicating scent it is very strong so you don't need to necessarily over spray um for me at least and i have a hard time fragrances lasting on me but with this one it definitely lasts all day long and if you spray this on clothes it's only coming off once you wash it like you spray this on clothes and it will stay. It will stay. If you put this on a scarf, 
put it into your dresser, your whole dresser is going to smell like this scent. So to me, it's very, very highly concentrated. Um, and I just love that for the winter time, for summer, not so much, but for the winter time, for sure. So with this scent, I don't spray heavily. I actually go a little light handed, like I'll do about three sprays. But again, I'm not wearing it so often right now because it is more of a summertime here in Canada. So it's very highly concentrated. Lasting power for me is beautiful, super intoxicating, and definitely leaves a stunning trail. So in conclusion to my review, I would say this is a beautiful, true gourmand fragrance, like edible, edible fragrance. Like when you smell this one, you want to eat something sweet and creamy and milky and just ah, uh, it really does reminisce uh the smell of an almond uh croissant or even a vanilla chai latte there is beautiful like oh my god i have to mm. that almond note is carried throughout the entire fragrance it becomes very creamy very rich on the skin and the dry down and has hints of bitterness from that almond but again if you love your very gourmand fragrances heavy dose of sweetness from the creaminess of that milk that vanilla in there then you are going to enjoy this one the woodsy tone in the base are not so prominent to me you will smell them a little bit but ultimately what you're going to get is the almond the milk and the vanilla 100% that is what I get on my skin so that's why I say this is a true gourmand scent and for me it's a warm spicy sweet nutty fragrance that is perfect for fall and winter especially for the holidays honey it is perfection in a bottle so I love it. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments section. Um, I'll say this before ending the video. It is not for everyone. Okay, so don't go blind buying it and then blaming it on me. <laughs> it is not for everyone. It is heavily sweet and gourmand. So proceed with caution. If you're not used to a very edible fragrance, get yourself a sample beforehand and then see if it works out on your skin you know what i mean this is not a crowd pleasing scent it is definitely a unique one and i can honestly say that i don't have any scents in my collection that smell like this to really compare it to to be honest so guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. I will link it down below. So definitely check it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments section, um, as well as good luck to those of you entering the giveaway. Again, check the description box to see how you can enter to win a $150 gift card as a thank you from me to you for all the love and support and the growth of this channel like oh it's amazing and uh, i will see you guys on the next video ciao